Dear new believer, I hope they told you. I hope they told you that you are a blank canvas, the master's piece, as he holds the brushes, defining and texturizing what you see as flaws, unveiling the beauty that lies within you, as he replaces the dim light within you with the reflection of the sun who lives in you. The weight of his glory taking shape as the radiance he bestows upon you is revealed. Dear new believer, I hope they told you that the fabric of your DNA no longer matches that of self-centeredness and inadequacy, but the king has wrapped a fragment of his garment around your heart, beating to a different drum. The blood he dripped breaks the ice that once captured an avenue of your character. Like a translucent curtain, allowing everything in, but never letting anything out. I hope they told you how he tore the veil in two and ripped out the lining of the places that you once were bound to. But at the end of it all, reminding you of the freedom you gained from yielding to his truth. They may not have told you, but I will. You will be mocked, laughed at, and low-key judged for your decision to follow the perfect savior. Arrows will fly your way, making you question your choice. Moments of doubt may invite itself in, causing tension between surrender and holding on. You will become the referee, blowing your whistle of time up, going back and forth to the mediator. Dear new believer, I hope they told you that your past will keep calling, nailing you regrettable memories from times when you didn't know better. Sin will try and call you by your old name, but you no longer respond to its subjection of guilt and tools of bondage. Like Pharaoh, roping in the children of Israel into his dungeon whilst appealing to their carnal desires. I hope they told you that you will have to deny yourself and intentionally seek the face of your Lord daily. Not trying to get revenge when someone angers you, but allowing the Lord to avenge for you. Your emotions may sometimes be louder than his voice. Like an environment that is toxic, you need to flee and run to the feet of Jesus. Dear new believer, I hope they told you to stay prayerful. Like a meal on Thanksgiving, when you eat all you can, leaving no room for anything else. Make room for God and abide at his feet. Now that we've got all that out of the way, like the sun stepping into a new day, a new dawn has come, a new beginning, a new season. Did they tell you that joy comes in the morning? Dear new believer, I would like you to know that you are more than a conqueror, victorious and altogether lovely in Christ. A beautiful journey awaits you, a process of refinement as God prepares you to be a dynamite for his glory. And the motto of this journey is, his kingdom come and his will be done.